My name's John Powers. I work with Field Service in the Midwest. Al Zabo's here today, and Tom Vinicinque over here to my right pretty much set up the display for you as well. First thing we're going to go through is Aquaflash, which is a fluid applied splining material. Tom already started to do the application around windows. That product is required with a moisture drainage system such as Outsolation Plus, which I'm sure they went over previously today, around your window penetrations, HVAC penetrations, the top of the wall, the base of the wall, and then also normally what happens once they install the windows, then you'd have a head flashing component, and then they would actually treat over the top of that again. Now, in the past, when we first started utilizing these moisture drainage systems, we used a peel and stick membrane, which is still an option today. Peel and stick comes in uh, three different widths, four, six, and a nine inch, and it's basically a self-adhesive, so you just peel the paper and place it on the wall. The unfortunate part of that is once it sticks to itself, you can't get it back away from itself, so I'll pass it around. The key is you don't want to get it on you, okay? This product has a 30-day exposure limitation to it. The Aquaflash prod, uh, product has no exposure limitation to it. It's about half the cost of this product. Labor-wise, it's virtually the same. So it's just a matter of the installation steps. But again, this is flashing tape. It would just come in a roll. For any of you that haven't seen the product, four and six, nine inch, just like this. And then once you just cut it off, then you just peel it off the roll and cut it to length, okay? So that's basically called the drive-it flashing tape. You want to pass that around. Now, with the Aqua Flash product, and this is a, a great tool that Al Zabo uh, utilizes with his distributors, and he provided some of us with that as well, too. It basically shows the representation of what typically we're going to utilize this product for, either with metal studs and a gypsum sheathing, or with wood framing and a gypsum sheathing, in conjunction with a product that's called Backstop NT. You'll see us apply that, that product a little bit later on. Typically, that would go over the entire wall surface. The Aqua Flash would treat expansion joints, the window and door openings, and other penetrations, and then again, the top and the bottom of the wall. And so that's an example of the product. You can touch and feel this one. Obviously, when we're going to apply these products, you won't want to touch them. The only tools that you typically need is either a brush or a roller. I would strongly encourage that you use a brush. What you'll find is when you try to apply it, with a roller, it won't be able to get into the corner and tuck the mesh in there. So it's just much easier to use a, a, a brush. Typically, it's a throwaway situation. After you use it for a day, if you let it dry out in the air, it's a piece of plastic. And so you're just going to throw it away. Normal water, you can wash it away. The Aqua Flash mesh, as you can see, comes in a 4, 6, and 9 inch width. The 4 inch is for expansion joints, vertical and horizontal. Depending upon the size of the framing, the typical 3 and 5 eighths that we normally deal with on most projects would require the 6 inch tape. Okay? If we've got a, a 6 inch stud, we'd use the 9 inch tape. And so d depending upon your application, what you're going to find, every project's going to need a you know, combination of all three typically. The Aqua Flash itself comes in a 5 gallon, 40, uh, 40 pound pail, or it comes in a 1 gallon, 8 pound pail. What you'll find, a lot of people will buy one one-gallon pail and then buy the balance of the project in the five-gallon because it's much easier to work out of the five or the excuse me the one-gallon pail rather than carrying a five-gallon around and you know climbing up and down the scaffold that sort of thing. It seems to work pretty well in going in that fashion. And you definitely want to wear gloves and don't forget to do so. Prior to doing any of your expansion joints, you actually have to fill the expansion joint with a backer rod. Normally when we use that peel and stick membrane, does somebody have that sample that we were passing around? Thank you, Jim. What typically happens, just so that you can get an idea for that, this product can only be applied after your backstop material has been applied on the entire wall surface. The nice thing about the Aqua Flash, it can be applied prior to or after. So recognize if I was going to use this product, the entire wall surface would have to be blue in color. What actually happens, and I'll put a little piece on here so that you can see, you adhere about half of it on one side of it, then you take your finger or the palm of your hand and tuck it in, and then you adhere it on the opposite side. That way, if you get expansion in that joint, it can stretch. If it's perfectly tight, this flashing tape, just, just like me pulling on it, it has a memory to it. It'll pull right back to its original form, okay? 
And so again, if you use this product, the backstop has to go on first, no options. It has to go on prior to the application of this product. The nice thing about the aqua flash, you can be either or. So if we've got an expansion joint, normally what you're going to find, and this is just a mock-up wall, there's going to be framing underneath here. You're not going to see open void space between the studs, okay? Typically you're going to have a rim joist, some slip track or something to that effect depending upon the assembly. What you actually have to do then is with a friction fit, just take and tuck that, that backer rod right in that space. And what that does, it gives you something to put the aqua flash mesh over but it also lets it stretch if there's any structural movement within the building. Okay? Now there's two ways to do that. You can either push it all the way in to where it's recessed inside the face of the sheathing approximately a quarter of an inch. Where your studs, in this case where it's vertical, you're going to have to let it protrude out a little bit. But you just want it to stick out roughly a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. Then once you get that in place, then you just need your gloves. And what a lot, of, a lot of the firms do that I work with, they actually use one guy to apply the material, another guy that actually applies the mesh into the material. And so one guy's always got a brush in his hand. A lot of times if I'm using the five gallon, I'll just use the lid, you know, just to hold the material so I'm not going back continuously. And so then once you start, you just start applying the materials and just put a good liberal coat over the entire surface. You'll notice that when it goes on, it's light blue in color. But as it dries, and you can see where that, the top, just before you came down, we put some of the material on the top, it dries to a black color. So then you just coat the surface. It depends upon environmental conditions. Under these, these temperature conditions, in about 30 minutes, it's going to be dry. Uh, the key is, is when your first coat, Jeff, is that it's going to be just like this. I'm going to lay the mesh in, and then I'm going to coat it again. Once it turns black, you've got to coat it one more time. Then you're done. Okay? So the easy way to approach that is to take and apply it just like what I'm doing and go ahead and work across the entire wall. Even if it gets drier than what you, that you'd want, it's really better because that way you're going to build up the millage that you need. Okay? So then once you get it covered, typically everybody will pre-cut the aqua flash mesh. And you'll see that the brush just really kind of helps you work the material. With a roller, you can't do that. And so I think what you'll find, most of the firms are just using a brush. Then once you get it coated, then you just take some additional material and just cover it. You'll notice that the original coat basically comes through 